Okay. So, um, I think basically what we have in the family survey is, do we, have, we don't have enough to do minutes, do we? Oh, uh, yeah, how many do we need? I want to grab you. I, let's just not. <laughs> um, so anyway, I think basically what we have is something really good. But as I started working more and more on it, I was asking myself the question, is this too long? Is it too wordy? What? So, um, so I had a couple of ideas, and I was talking to Mary this afternoon, and she said, well, what if we had everybody just take the survey? It would reacquaint everybody with or acquaint people with exactly what's on it. And then with, you know, keeping in mind how is this, is this, are these questions we want to ask, are these important? Would parents or families know the answers to these questions? Um, and is it uh, in, in the language that we want? We had, to, we had to, I think we may have to do some adjusting in much the same way, way we did with the middle school. Um, newspapers are written at a sixth grade level. So I always keep that in my yeah. head when we're doing, you know, sort of uh, public stuff. So we might want to make some, and that's easy enough to do. But anyway, I just felt like I needed to bring it back for everybody to take a look and, and really give us some input. You know your communities and you know your folks so much better than I do. Um, so Mary went to make a couple of paper copies, but then she was just going to email it to people to do on their phones or to do on their computers or whatever, and we'll just... It wasn't something you Take them. Do you want to do that? What'd you ask? Did you you already sent that out? I thought. Yeah. Is it a different link to actually? Survey for tomorrow, but not the one. No, you just do um preview. It'll be quick preview up and down. It just needs to be. Yeah, it's in the working. Actually, that might be. Drafts family survey. Extract the data. This is good. Yeah. the data. Yeah. I'm just not. Yeah, that was like, oh, you know what, that's last, that's not the most recent. It's in my calendar. It's in my calendar? <laughs> what? It's a miracle. I will go straight to my calendar. Okay, so we have a couple of paper copies. Okay. If yeah, you can make that happen. It's going to take me forever to get it. So, yeah, Andrew. Yeah. Um, do you want a, something to write with? Let's see. Oh, mm -hmm. Do you need a pen? Uh, yeah, I didn't bring one. I'm discombobulated. Here we go. Family survey, look at that. It's amazing. Yeah. Now, is it the draft one? It's the one that says draft. Oh, you got one. Yeah. I'm slow. <laughs> the title still says draft. Yes. Yeah. And then how do you, Andrew, are you working on? I'm going to figure this out. Do you know how to do it? I'm just trying to remember because I did it last time. I haven't done it since. To, uh, to um, send it out so that um, people sure. can take it. Yep, I can Mary do will do it. You know how to do it? Mm hmm. Not to put it up here. Yeah, we don't want it up there. We don't want it up there. Okay. Not right now. Too much. It would kill us, I think, if we went by so went the way we did before. And Aaron, Ooh. you're hot mail, right? Yes. Are you, okay. are you sending it out now so yes. I can disregard this other copy I have? Mm -hmm. right. I don't think we need to do this. It should be, they should be updating all the time. So on the first thing, I put in a, a section after the first section, which was... Um, just an alternate version of entering in. So this is like, you know, this list, which we need to make check boxes instead. But for the next section, I basically did the same thing just with, um, oops, there was another uh, question there. It was basically like the enter this. Oh, no, it was just, yeah, it was just these four. Uh -huh. so we check which one. Oh, okay, have. yep. Well, and then Emily had sent me... Um, some suggestions, and she was saying that in where we could use drop down mm. made a lot. And I thought, well, that would just make it feel shorter. <laughs> so we did that. That's not that much text yelling. We at did you. that for the first one. So, but so we changed it from a multiple choice: the I am family of current students, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's a drop down. Well, the problem well, with that, get, though, is Let's in. not make those changes now. Let's just... You made that one to see... What yeah, we you want me to put it back to do so it. So we've got numbers one and two. How come we then have three and four? It seems like it's basically well, asking down. the same thing. Well, with that first question, like, do which... I think it's worth figuring out which we like better. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, those two options. Okay. Now on this first one, the only, um, I guess, can we check multiples? Yeah. Now with the drop down. Well, that's what I'm, I guess that's what I'm asking. Yeah. With, if yeah. it's a drop down, we can't do multiples. Right. So I think we need to change, either oh, change right. that back to the drop down. Because I would already qualify for You want me to change, these. you want me to undo the drop down? Unless we have people take it multiple times for each student, which would be a lot. That would be hard. That's horrible. Horrible. <laughs> so asking it as number three works better then. Check boxes, not multiple choice. Hold on. Oh, oh gosh. There is Wi-Fi I can get on here. Does it not say partner? Yeah, partner. Wild, wild, wild cat, capital W. Right. There, I just shared my password. I think I clicked something else. Why is there a So Suzette, is there, a, I missed the instruction to take it, just, take just it. with the idea of, you know, being a family and, um, you know, whether people would, would know the answer to that question, is that a question we need? So maybe take notes while I take them. And people can either shout out or take notes and we can yip you out about them. Okay. And I think there's definitely sections that apply more to high school parents than like what? Well, sorry. <laughs> to be honest with the one of my questions in. was, do we want three surveys based on where your students are? But then do you have to take it three different surveys? Mm -hmm. I mean, we have the I don't know section for all of them. So. Yeah, it's a hard copy, just so I can take. And I think that's just. I had asked that question just based on the sense was it was too long. That was one way. To shorten, but not necessarily recommending that. I. Are we getting rid of what town do you live in that's in here twice? Did we already talk about that? Am I We're going to talk about that. So how we want to do that? Okay. Basically, I had added a second version of the same. So numbers three and four are kind of like a different version of numbers one and two. I see. Yeah, we'll talk about that and figure out which ones we want. Make sure you read the section headings.
Jeff won't be here. things I want to feedback on. Okay. Were, um, <coughs> let's see. So one, the transportation section, like I was putting in uh, this, and I mm -hmm. don't know if those are if there's more to put in there or not. Um, Entering this section section for like if you do have skills you'd oh, like to share, what are they? And then I don't know if we could put in like if you checked anything above, enter your email if it's okay for us to contact you about it. <coughs> like if that would be useful for I think Android. that would be super useful. Yeah. <clears throat> so if there's other things you guys can think of to put in that list of things that would be helpful to have parents do. Yeah. Substitute. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was certainly one thing that we needed more. And then the communication thing. Right. I, li I like the idea of putting that together with. Just, just the merging piece. it in the, uh, the previous section? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, just, I made that. I'll put that out there. I feel like there could be another. Like, communication <clears throat> in school is timely and informative, but also, like, a question about I, I know about school events. Right. You know, I think I'm a little bit struggling with this survey because, like, just now for myself, I can click the box that I live in Bethel and I have had in the last five, experience, five years experience with my child being in Bethel Elementary School, Bethel Middle School, and Bethel High School, or Bethel High what, 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 River yeah. Valley High School, given where Julia is. And there's no way for anyone to drill down if I'm rating. Like, it. I have different experiences based on the programs. Yeah. So if we're asking about communication, we're not going to be able to drill down and know, like, mm -hmm. if I'm dissatisfied, am I am I overall dissatisfied or am I dissatisfied with the Bethel Elementary communication? And that's, that's why you're taking it. Well, yeah, I so I feel like that, that – I feel like the way that we have – I feel like we almost need to drill down the program and do the strongly agree boxes across. So if you had experience in the last five years at Bethel Elementary, Middle School, and High School, rate, rate your communication, how you feel about it, strongly agree. So that we could, if there's differences between the different programs, because that's a concern we've heard at this board level, right? You all aren't communicating the same. That's frustrating to us. Those are things. Maybe, maybe it is better to have the elementary school survey, the middle school survey, and the high school survey. I do think you could easily just do it all in one, sort of like you did those previous boxes. I, it's just, it's going to wind up like you're going to have to have the same question three times. Then. 
this quote asked a lot of questions. Yeah, I think it'll be exactly the same, except for those few things that are school specific. Does Google, I don't, I don't, I haven't really played around with it that much. Does it give you the option of if they said yes to this previous question, Jeez. add this section? Because it would be nice if, like, they check. Back if yes, measure. then or whatever, like questions. Yeah. Could you just make those questions look more like this question? So, but so. The school provides strong, personalized learning opportunities, and you could say BES. You could list out the schools oh, here, yeah, sure. and and then it is it then check check all that apply. And if your kid didn't go to Bethel Elementary School and tell yeah. all the three, you still can differentiate yeah. the answers. Yeah. Is what I'm asking. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are, do you have? <laughs> yeah. It's real fun. Can you type that in? Do you have the link to the? Um, I'm in it. I, I don't. So I can explain she's it. She's not in it right now. Okay. It's a big I mean, she's in the is what I was suggesting. To take it, I think. Right. Just because if I'm in the first, because I was answering it, right? Like, I literally can check three boxes, even though I have two children really right now, only in two places. But within the last five years, I have had the experience of the middle school and the high school. Well, yeah, that's where I'm, I just kind of went back on mine. And that's exactly right. And I've had. But I, I would potentially rate the different programs differently. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think that's, I mean, that's what, that's part of what we want to know. So I think just reformatting those questions to look like this one to differentiate Bethel Elementary, South Rose sure. Elementary. So I think taking these questions, like if it's even the question about the school provides strong personalized learning opportunities, just make that say the school provides long personal, uh, strong personalized er, uh, learning opportunities, BES, SRES, WRVES, right over at high school. Make it this format. And then, well, I, th I think you get better information. For me, as a principal, I want to know how I can improve. And if it's, a, we're not certain which campus it is, or, or we're not certain if it's the middle school or the elementary, it's harder for me to be responsive, I think. Like that? Does that make sense? Yeah. So I think a, a bulk of the questions look like this, and we have better information about each program. Well, why don't we, yeah, I mean, you can go through and mark if that's true in like others. Some of these, it will matter, some of these won't. <coughs> like, I think that we have had kids that have had experience from family course in middle school that have dropped it in high school. Mm -hmm. We have had kids that have had experience of, where language, believe it or not, in elementary school, <laughs> but mm -hmm. they didn't have it in middle school so we couldn't find anyone, mm -hmm. and just... But that's okay. I mean, I think this is just, this yeah. is more about interest, maybe, sure. than what we've actually yeah. done. So, yeah. So, right. that would be something. Right, because be on this we could first question, question I, there's question. four boxes I check, really, because I have a past mm -hmm. elementary school, yeah. a current high school, and a past. This has to be within five years, though, Chris. Well, it is. You're old, buddy. Your kids are old. <laughs> So did you keep going to have a sense of whether it's too long or? This whole to? thing, I went yeah. through it all. I didn't think it was too long. I just think it could okay. be, for me, I didn't think it was too long. If I'm going to do a survey, I'd rather do one survey and I'd rather have it be like this. Yeah, no, I think that we can do that and we should, we can, what we'll do in a few minutes is go through it one by one just to talk about that format. Okay. Is it formatted correctly? Mm -hmm. So we know which questions. Yeah, uh, which ones have to be. To, yeah. And then the other the other part is really if you wouldn't mind looking at the closely at the section descriptions. My sense is they're too long and um, too wordy. And does everybody read them? Could you I don't know this. <laughs> I, I think the first can. one is good. Can you, I bet you could link the description every time it's highlighted, and then if people clicked on it, they could go to the description, but if they didn't want to, they didn't have to. Like to a Google Doc. Like the Google Doc that says family survey sections. Right, but so instead of having, this is not working. Hmm. I think you could <coughs> somehow. I don't, I don't think it's too long, personally. I mean, I made a document that you has like, all the sections and all the descriptions in it. Yeah. We could 
we can link it at the beginning and that for more information click here first or something. But I, I don't think it's too much. I'm just going to put in an example just to see if it shows up on your survey here. Oh, I probably yeah, should. I probably should continues. be going too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I do think this one is too wordy. Okay. Um, I don't think we need to give such a big explanation of. Mm -hmm. I think this is the one that that Emily was saying. Take a first sentence and the last sentence. Yep. Call it a day. <laughs> that is exactly that is exactly my thought. Okay. Um, no. I thought all of that in between stuff was yeah. like More trying than. to justify something that. Yeah. Well, I think that that was part of Andrew yeah. wanting to put, because he worked on that, all okay. of the information up front, so, because he didn't think people would have it. And I was like, well, uh, if they don't have it, I think we need to know that they don't have but it. But what do you yeah. think about <laughs> the section descriptions or seeing more, learn more about each section? Oh, yeah, so that would be fine. Yeah, like that? that makes sense. That way, if they need more info. Thank just you, Nick. did very much. Yeah, sorry to be running out. Thanks but you're not feeling up. it's too long. No. Okay. No. Because no, it went fair. pretty quickly. That took me 10 minutes. All right. Good. Of course, I didn't do any writing. Right. <laughs> so if I had written, it would have been more. But. So I only have the survey as, like, as we can view it. I don't have it as editing. Not that I need it editing, but. I'll just, I'll send you. Do like, you want me to have it as editing or just as, like, I would <laughs> take it as a parent? Yeah, so we can change up the questions. I'll share it with you so it's at the top of your email. Oh, now I'm in the faculty staff server, which is in there. That's back. Yeah, oh my god, you should, I'm just so crazy about which one are you <laughs> in, don't which one don't it. change anything until you triple check which one you are in. And well, and briefly, we can do control Z in it. Thank God for control Z. Saves us every time. Um, so in the first section, I wrote, I put a link to section descriptions. Oh my God, how did it get to be six o'clock? Okay. Okay, let's not let me do that. Sharing is unavailable at this time. You can't share it? Are you the owner of it? Yeah. Okay, now it just shared. It was just like thinking. I put that link in, see section descriptions. Yeah, I think I put something out to Emily and I'll say to you too or anybody that's available if we can work on this. I don't think this is what you want. I think you have to add me as a collaborator to have me be able to see it right. Adding you as a collaborator should have brought you to this. Did you add me as a collaborator? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to do that? No, it's, no. it should be in Andrew's email. Oh, okay. You asking me to do something? No. Oh, good. No, she's telling me. She's telling me. <laughs> I don't know what to do. How do I do this? Cast. Aaron, did you finish? No, I haven't. I, you know, I've been distracted a lot though. So <laughs> the first time I read through it, it was a lot faster for sure. A lot of. A lot faster. Yeah. Than this time. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's um. um I hate to interrupt the assignment I already gave you, but I think That's what would be most useful, because we've only got a half an hour left, is to go back through it one by one, not with the same set of eyes that we had the last time we did that, but like what um, Andrew was saying, is it in the right format? If you're, you've experienced enough what it's like to try to do this if you have kids from more than one school or have experiences in more than one school. So how do we... How do we do that? Well, especially since the merger, you're talking history. So you've been maybe in the elementary, middle, and high school. You yeah. know what I mean? It's not just a now snapshot. So, you're you're South asking Rilton, historical That first question. question has South Royalton Elementary School in it twice. And maybe we really want to make sure they have good answers. But should I delete one? Yes, you may. Oh, that looks like Suzette's mistake. Yeah. Family of, no, that's family of past. past. So and the first one is current. Put that right back. Um, so, right off the bat, which do you like better? Number one and two, or number three and four? As a way, questions one and two are, and three and four, they're redundant. Okay. For me, number one is 
harder to wrap my brain around. Yeah. Trying to delete it. I'd rather just say, like, which program area were you connected with Has in the last five years? Personally? All right. People okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, I think After so. All because that that's, paste I felt I the same way because you could. <laughs> You feel like you're going to check yep, more no, boxes. No, no, that's good. Easy. One and two are gone. One and two are gone. Okay, excellent. Next. Um, personalized learning and diverse pathways. Um, both Nancy and um, Emily suggested that we keep the first sentence and the last sentence. <laughs> and take the middle out. I would agree. And we can link to longer descriptions. Well, isn't it linked at the beginning? I think it is. It's at the beginning, yeah. Because the whole murder thing is. Yeah. So that's what you want, like that? I think so. I still think also throughout this, we have to say our school. One school. I'm sorry, what? I deleted the S. We're one school, two campuses, three programs. So don't call schools. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> you just fix that right it there. It just roll, right. rolled off your tongue. I've said it a lot. That's I good. Know it might be. All right. So then the next one, the next question the school provides strong personalized learning opportunities. I'm going to list the schools down um, yes. the y-axis and the, the uh, strongly agree, agree, disagree, cross so. the axis. Okay, so we'll do that. And to do the same thing for so we'll number be, six. We'll be adding, it'll be like three columns, elementary, middle, high school. Is that okay. Or it could be... Yeah, Something like that, yeah. so that we can they can answer for all of the different schools. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I think we'll list the list the schools down this way, and then you would answer going across this way. Okay. Matching yeah. your schools. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then we'll do the same thing for number six. And again, are those things parents will know? I do. I think if your child has, they will know. Yeah. And we have an I don't know anyway, so yeah. it's the same. And I, would, I guess I would hope that the older they get, the more they do know. And at elementary, does it apply the concept of flexible pathways? No, not as much. But I'm not going to say it doesn't happen. But I think there's also an expectation that it should be. I was going to say, no, so, I was going to say, I don't think I say that out loud. <laughs> yeah. We're just saying. Given my history with the people sitting in the <laughs> offices up there, don't say that out loud. Okay. I don't think we'll everyone up in those offices up there knows that too, though. <laughs> yes. I just don't, yeah. I think we just need to be really transparent if they all say no. And it's like, well, we know that. So and that's okay. Good places to grow. So then how do we deal with number seven? How come these don't have numbers when they're out here and they do on there? <laughs> yeah, that one's the that's school offers a broad array of educational offerings. The one with. The school it. offers a broad array of educational offerings. Do we have to have that one three times? Well, there's some that... So instead of saying the school, you can say elementary school offers a broad array of edu educational offerings. The middle school, da 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 Yeah, and these selections would be different for each one. Right, so we don't yeah. offer early there's college and elementary. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I found myself off of saying I don't know it to most of them because I only have elementary school. Right, especially if you only have an elementary student. So it's duplicate for each school and adapt. Mm -hmm. Questions? So I have a separate question for each school. That's what you're saying. But there's things like, and then we'll just go back, uh, work-based learning, advanced placement honors courses, early college um, would only be in the high school. Okay. And do you want to break out each elementary school or no? When I'm fine with it just being the element. Well. Yeah, you're supposed to be a. Supposed to be one. You're a single. Well, you're a single yeah. program. program. Well, today I had another parent go. Are you the principal of both campuses? Like, oh, <laughs> how do you do that? I'm a poor communicator. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, yeah, but I'm sure they've read your email and their signature is like that in the bottom of every email. She, the person 
work here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to attribute it more to them. <laughs> okay, so number eight, eight would be the same, the schools with the scale. The, um, my student participated in the following educational opportunities. So, okay, so, so what's what, the difference between that one and the question? Yeah. The offering versus the participated. It's offered. We Do we care if they offered it? I think we, I was going to say I think we care more about it if they offer it. We have the participation data from the kids. We do have the participation data. So get rid of the participation one? So I don't think we need that. That's mm. a good decision. The participation part because that's in the student data. Yeah. Agree, agree, not agree? I agree. I agree. <coughs> so we're just going to delete. Gone. We'll I take out. Bye-bye. I'm going to put in student data. I'm going to. I will make. Would the pie chart look different though between the, the two? I mean, it's not that I disagree, but. Well, we have pie charts. You can pull it down by school. Oh, okay. All right. In the student survey. Yeah. Yes, because it said <laughs> what school they were in. Um, I would like the school to offer the following classes, and I'd like the school to offer these additional extracurricular athletic opportunities. I think these two are important, but um, do we add something that says which school? <laughs> or I would like our programs. I think this is fine. I'd be interested to see what they write. I think and they can just depending on what they write, you're going to be able to figure they're out able to like figure the out. age, right? Especially because the previous question would be tailored to each specific school. So oh, we right, know right. which school was. Yeah. OK. <clears throat> yeah, we have to think of it and what, how we've already edited it, right? That's why we do this as a group, because I can't keep track of all this stuff. I'd like the high school to pursue the development of an outdoor experiential learning program. That's pretty straightforward. I wonder about that, though. Like, so that was in the Articles of Agreement. It was very specific. It had its own paragraph. And it, had a, it was connected to Rochester and the spirit yeah. of that with Rochester joining. Mm -hmm. But they explained yeah, but in the whole in, articles yeah. that it, how it all came undone and how we yeah. became us. So, it's, so it's still almost a moot, in. moot point. Okay. Well, I think that this is, do, do people still want to pursue it? Yeah. Right. You know, right. Did, right. did it get right. dropped because, right. why did it get dropped? And okay. if you really want to pursue it, then let's get so back to it. Yeah. Um, and I like your idea about it. But I've got a question. What if they feel like at White River Valley Middle School, there is an outdoor experiential learning program that is meeting their needs, right? Doesn't it say high school? This one says oh, high school. Oh, the high school. school. I'm sorry. Okay. It was Bethel Woodward Place Based Learning and Bethel and Loyalton. Okay. Sorry about that. <clears throat> It's high school only. I think I, I was looking at Bethel and Royalton, so I was thinking of both. So is the assumption that the middle schools is a, a strong or a standalone program? Like, they, we need to develop it at the high school? It needs to be developed at the high school. Right, he's, that's what I'm he's saying. He's doing some yeah. I think that full days where everybody is having different kinds of experiences, um, but it's not a program per se. It doesn't, it doesn't really match with elementary and the middle school are doing, right? And right. So well, I guess that's where I'm coming from is, do you ask it for each? <clears throat> I think that this was or about high school. Just the high in school. In terms okay. of... Okay, I'm just clarifying. That's yeah, all. No, no, no. It just no. kind of made me confused, yeah. too, when yeah. I first read it. Yeah. Because which hat are we, you know, are you wearing when you, or whatever, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I mean, the reality is if you were to put a, a program like that in, you'd start with one grade <laughs> and work your way down or up. But, all right. Teacher engagement. Um, Emily had some questions about, I should go get them. Um, I mean, some of this stuff, excited and engaged. Students excited about it, provide students opportunities to apply. Those were also in the student survey. So I think this teacher engagement, we want to go back to the broken down by programs. 
the, the what programs? I'm like school. Because, like, I might think that, like, the middle school teachers are so engaged. Oh. And I might think, I don't feel like the high school teachers are as engaged. Yeah. I think that would be, be what? To differentiate that feedback. Well, the problem is, is that, you know, you can be annoyed with one teacher and you can say highly disagree and then it, it involves one teacher and not, you know. I know. But the thing you could describe and that you could. I mean, I'd rather have something about whether um, you feel like your teachers know your kid. Well, the other thing, too, is where this is a like a broad spectrum. You're, you're casting for teachers in elementary, middle, and high school, too, right? Yeah. I mean, would it be... Would, so do you think that these are valuable, or would it be more valuable to say my, my students are excited to go to school? I like the idea of connecting it to teaching, though. Um, I, I think, you know, I, in talking to my kids' teachers, and you know, seeing like what they what they're doing in the class, and like, and wondering about their challenges. I'm always wondering about if the teachers are supported by the administration. Like, mm -hmm. are they feeling like, you know, that that like they get the help they need to just like do the job they need to do in the classroom. Um, and so, I, I, you know what I mean? And I think that's a question for the teacher survey. And I Most, think it was on there. And I, okay, that's good. I'm glad. But I, and I don't, and so I don't know if it's helpful at all to ask the parents how they feel about that. I don't, I don't really, it probably, as long as it's on the teacher survey, yeah. then it's not helpful to ask the parents. <laughs> I mean, the things that might be, might be good around teachers would be just the communication piece. Um, Do the parents feel well, like... I'm, are you asking, see if I can get this right, you're asking teachers if they feel the parents are engaged, and then you're asking the parents if the teachers are engaged. Is it comparable data? You know what I mean? From one survey to the other, from the, the, the staff survey to the parent survey. I'm thinking not, but... Or would it just be better not to have specific questions and just leave it as a blank response place for people to comment on specifically teacher engagement in innovative instruction and literally just that. As a result, the merger of the communities we're hoping to have become a place where teachers were encouraged to use their strengths and teach in creative ways. They envisioned enthusiastic staff using best practices and creating innovative instruction that engages both teachers and students use this section to assess how successful the district has been in implementing school. And then just give a long answer. Yeah, and then people get whatever they want, and then it's not so directed. But I like yeah. that idea. And then parents would really be able to communicate what they wanted to yeah. communicate instead of trying to say, oh, this question. Well, it's true because that's a, that's a good point, because then let's say you have a high school student and an elementary student or middle school student, you may want to give a, a different answer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like one, one, checking one box and one answer wouldn't cover how you really... Yeah. I also think yeah. the perception of a parent, of a parent, if the teacher is teaching in a way that makes their student excited about what they were learning, it's, it's just it's hard. Yeah. Because it depends on what your kid comes home and says or doesn't say, right? Right. I mean, that's why I said, are they excited to go to school? But how the parents? But how many, too. you know? Like, is it a strong home versus a... Or just does your kid come home and say, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, it, you know, yeah. and I can say... Well, you know, if you're not an engaged parent, you know what I mean? Like... Yeah. yeah. If you're not keeping up with the newsletters, you don't know what they're doing. Right. Yeah, I think the communication piece is important. Yeah, so we'll go when we get there. Okay. We've got to keep moving. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I like that idea. I think that that Just also I can't tell you how many times and Andrea, and Mary will back me up that where we'll have um, what what parents are hearing at home and what we're seeing in the classroom are 180 mm -hmm. degrees from each other, and we're we're having to try to figure that out. Mm 
Yeah, you know, sure. mom says she hates science, blah, 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 blah. Science teacher says, oh my gosh, she's at the top of her class. Yeah, she's she always tells you know, she does this. And it's like, okay, yeah. now what do we do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so student-adult relationships, I think this is important. <coughs> so getting rid of questions 13, 14, 15, 15 16, 16, 17. 17. I, I mean, I guess my only concern there is, you know, what, how, does, how do you process just a long answer from every individual person? Like, mm -hmm. It's not something that's easy to, like, well, I think to go through, obviously, you know. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I am curious, like, what people, how people feel... I get a sense. My my kids are in a certain age group, right? You know, they still talk to me, etc. <laughs> Most of the time, they don't remember even what they had for lunch. But then every once in a while, like they do tell me a story of school. Um, but I think the communication aspect from the teachers is almost more important. Yeah. You know, like I get the sense from because I do read the newsletters and the class dojos and the blahs. Like I've scanned these things. Like I get more of a sense from that of what's going on in the classroom. Um, sometimes, you know, and other times it really does come from the kids. But, um, you know, I don't know. I guess I do feel like some of these questions are useful and other ones not as useful. But I, I also don't know about, like, what it's like to go through a ton of long answers and try to, like, well, hope, 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 I mean, all we're, yeah. Something. I mean, in this case, I mean, just that whole question <coughs> is subjective in and of itself. So I think what we would have out of those data pieces would be just more of an impression that parents in general are satisfied with, or you know, yeah. there were several that were concerned about this, and it was it was um, uh, supported by the teacher data or the student data, or, or we found this in different different places. Yeah. But I think that that I'm all with. I don't want that in every session because we'll be here to right. for years. But I think in this case, I think it's it's better because I think in, I think we are asking them things that they may or may not know, or it's based on so we what flip kids are saying. First one would be more about students because this reads about teacher engagement and also about students and definition. The situation, like you know, if your kid feels engaged in school or if you're ripping them out of the bed every morning to get them to go. Right. So could. My kid seems to. My 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 student my, is very engaged by their teacher and wants to go to school. My my or yeah or yeah, my student has good things to say about their teachers or I don't know. It, I, yeah. Or or I know that they're lying when they say bad things. So, <laughs> so, so, so take saying. number thirteen and reward it. Whatever that first one is, I think flip it from whether or not the teacher is engaged and make it more about whether the student is engaged. I would like to think that students are engaged because teachers are engaged, right? So we yeah. that assumption. So now no one has to guess whether or not when Mrs. Bowen comes to school she's actually engaged or she's just going through the motions. But really is it that the kids in my kid is in Mrs. Bowen's class and my kid loves going to school this year. Yeah, thir 13 and 14 are really asking that more than not. But it says the teachers are excited engaged. So yeah. I just want to look to make this to my students and then do the school and the scales. <laughs> All right, I see. Looking at it from a from a parent lens, yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Right. I don't right. Want to it's more about getting them out the door, Chris really. Is engaged, but I want to know if you know if your kid is engaged. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And should we keep that section description long? You know, the longer description there. Yes. The teacher engagement. Yeah. If we're just going to have one question and then an open Well, I can add question. something. Um. I don't know. I think the second question about how your teacher teaches for kids, that is a harder one. Yeah. Which one? The teachers The teachers teach. teach in a way that makes my students excited about what they are learning. Well, you're almost asking well, that's, the way I we changed the first question. Yeah, yeah I think we deleted way. them all except number, we just put number 13 back, from <clears> the <throat> first one back, but from the teacher, from a student perspective. Yeah. We took all those out. Okay. Student-adult relationships. <clears throat> This is another one. We do, do we want to do this by school? My student was seen because as a valued member. Because we're one school, but we're 
we had three different programs. In right, the, but the, in the way we had the, we oh, were right. doing that. Oh, program. yeah, 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 the I, XY I need, axis. Sorry, yeah, I, that's yeah. my problem. Yes. By program, my students feel felt that they were part of the Wildcat School community. I think that's by program. Do you refer, do elementary kids refer to themselves as part of the Wildcat community? Sure do. Yeah. All righty. We ran the Wildcats. Yep. Rarely try to change it. <laughs> no, it's, you already did. Uh, teachers and administrators include student voice and decision making. Do they know? There's an I don't know option. I would say we don't, but. I, could you could you just put as as a parent? Do you think? As no. a parent, I believe, yeah. As I believe, a yeah. Parent. I mean, no, implied, but yeah, I, I. Well, right. I have a sentence. I mean, I can answer the question, but I mean, that's just me. <laughs> well, I think that that's about the kind of thing teachers, the kids about might talk about when they came no, home. If they I were don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Nobody's I listening. Feel like we should go get a student council going right now. <laughs> Um, technology. I would just that that one. I actually personally, I feel like technology is so level across <coughs> the program areas. I don't feel the need to dial it down. We all have a Promethean board. Right. We right. all have one to ones. Some kids take them home. Some kids don't. Like we. It's yeah. As level as could be, I don't. I don't think there's. It would be beneficial to drill it down personally. Mm -hmm. I think that Emily's saying the same thing. She's saying take them out. The the students had nothing critical to say about technology, right? Like the student surveys that I've looked at so far was like, it's great, amazing. Mm -hmm. We all have what we want, you know. So, I mean, yeah. well, again, I mean, if if there's an opinion about technology that's not, you know, if we did another sort of long one, what we'll get is the kids are spending too much time with technology or not enough. It'll that's be exactly that's what that's what we'll get. Mm. So, I don't, I, don't think we, I don't think we need that. <laughs> Do we take the whole section out? Yeah, I mean, I hate to say this. I, I discount what parents think about it, but... The, I mean, I think... The, I'm sorry, I didn't... I agree yeah, with what you're saying. If the kids are saying it's good. The, the, the my student will apply technology skills learned after high school, That's that question seems useful. Like, if the parents feel like, yeah, they're learning these skills that they're going to use after high school. Like, but... That they feel that whether it's true or not. Yeah, whether course, it's, it's true or not, it's a matter of thing. We don't. It's the same with all these skills. That you're learning. Yeah. Just like a percentage of people you feel like you're well prepared. That. What's that? Like a percentage of parents that won't be able to answer that too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they have no idea. What? Yeah. Well, right. I mean, it goes back to the other section when it depends on how engaged a, a parent is. Well, the, so but, the articles of agreement were about. And I can look it up specifically, but it was just about providing kids with state-of-the-art technology, which which feels like it's a yeah, it's a black or white um, yeah. question. That's not it's not an you know, and particularly with families, maybe it doesn't even maybe we don't even have to ask the question. We we ask teachers and students about it, which I think makes sense in that they're the ones who are actively using the technology. Um, but people seem pretty. I even just wonder if the question should just be like, do you agree or disagree that we've met this goal? Of providing state of, of, providing state of our technology. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty straightforward. Yeah. Then they can comment on it, and then we can know if, if like, there's a, a mm -hmm. most people like it or most people are not happy. Or they just don't know. They don't know what, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, with a, with a few exceptions, you know, like every person walks around with a smartphone, you know, like, <clears throat> right. you know. It's... Okay, school structures. 
Um, Emily was saying not to use WRUD because people might not know what that is. Really? Yeah. I think that's where she was saying that. People outside of the system don't know what WRUD is. What River Valley Unified District? Being part of a large, yeah, that one. Merged communities of Soro and. Is that what she wants to say? Learn for a merged community? Um, so these, I think, and if I need to change all of these schools, I'll make somebody else do that because I don't understand. I feel like showed so twenty nine. Could, could, could you just put being part of the merger and then put the red in parentheses? Yeah. And then then you're solidifying the merger and what it is. The school merger. Yeah. Okay, we got three minutes, but you're willing to stick with it till we lit, finish it. <laughs> yeah. Would would parents know whether or not teachers had more resources and opportunities to collaborate? I mean, the, I like the idea of resources and opportunities, but I don't know collaborate. But I guess that's a point. The first question under school structures. Being part of the school merger has provided teachers and students with more resources and opportunities. I think a parent could comment about whether or not their student had more, has more, have, maybe <coughs> has had more opportunities. But they wouldn't necessarily know about collaboration. Yeah. Because it's also relative, right? More opportunities to collaborate relative to what if I wasn't aware? I think more opportunities to collaborate than with just three kids in my class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More resources and opportunities, or do we want? Yeah, more just more resources. Yeah, resources take to collaborate out. Okay. Yeah, take the two collaborate out. And then do you, oh, and that can be generalized, or do we want to break that down by school as well? No. Okay. I don't think so. Because that's the point. I think these the, this whole section doesn't yeah. need to be broken out. Okay. Um, the, there's. There's a question I'd like to see in here, and I don't know how it would be worded exactly, but it goes along with the serving students from both Bethel and Royalton at separate elementary campuses was a good decision. Um, I, I, I've heard like it's as Andrew was saying earlier about like meeting somebody recently, talking to somebody who said, "Oh, you're the principal for both schools." Um, I have heard, like, as I've talked about this with other parents, I've heard a few parents concerned about, like, is that too hard of a job for you? Or, like, not, and maybe that's not the right, to, right way to work it, yeah. to word it. Yeah. But, like, is that the right structure right. for both elementary schools? And I, w I don't know how we could put that question in here. But, I, but you know, I, I, I have heard two people, like, bring it up, you know. And it's I would and I and I it's, it's, it's nothing about there's like a gap in service. No, I would I mean I think that that conversation isn't even like limited to just that. I will say it's better personally having to try to uh, my bias work with another elementary principal and like create right equity and have it be a be a single well, school two vices. But I do wonder about like the what over, the structure would be yeah. overall structure because I think. That same struggle is real about like trying to create this vertical system when there's three separate principles. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe what we need is just a second question. Serving mm -hmm. students from both Bethel and Royalton at separate elementary campuses was a good decision. Serving students from both Bethel and Royalton at the same on the same campus would be. Oh, would be. Would be what? Better. <laughs> Would be a good decision. <laughs> I mean, I think I have to put the other side in there. Merging, yeah. merging the elementaries. I mean, they are technically merged now, but because right. so because we have two or, campuses, or putting, so that's conceptual. Under, right, one building or whatever. Right? But putting them all in one place. I mean, there are lots of advantages to that. I understand that. The local community <coughs> piece, but just when you look at yeah. class sizes and so I think you just and, separate to and resources and things like that, it's cheaper. 
serving students from both Bethel and Royalton to put them at, one sing, at a single yeah. campus is yeah. a good decision, or it could be a good decision. Or, or is something that should have been considered. Serving students at the same location, at the same be, campus? Same serving same elementary percent. students? Yeah. I'm just writing the question. I was saying serving so students. separate, so now you say at the same. Same. Elementary campus. Right. Should be considered, should be looked at. Mm -hmm. Oh, then yeah, you, that's a good then you could word it, have so the should be looking things right. to check, right? Yeah. Because if people did say that, that would be something we could talk about. We could easily get more information on it. It would be more efficient. Well, you know, and I think there are different ways to talk about it, but there's, um, and I, again, I certainly understand the, the concept of the local elementary school, but when I look at, you know, when I put my old superintendent hat on and look at the sizes of your schools and sizes of your <coughs> class sizes and things like that, and just the resources that, um, yeah, I mean, it would be it, it would be not an easy transition for some, but I think in the long run it would be it's something to consider for sure. I think it's got some positive pieces to it. But okay, keep going. Now, there's also questions. Would they, would parents know about these, these transition questions, or at least the elementary and middle school? I don't think so. You don't? Oh, oh so they wouldn't know about transition plans, but I do think they'd have a, a perception. Okay, that's good. Uh, I know that was the section that my daughter commented on, I think the greatest, was she came home and told me she did. <laughs> good for her. Whether or not she was ready for high school. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh the data is so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till we get to that. Um, the, yeah. Um, but we took out plan, didn't we? On that question. What? Okay, yeah, as long as plan's not there. Okay, no, okay. plan's not there. Okay. And do I need to, on, my family uses intradistrict choice. Is there, do you refer that to something, do you refer it differently? it differently yeah so they would that would only apply to elementary and we call it school I don't, I don't know if it's worth even asking I know who does that I don't mean we don't really need to ask I have that information oh you want the information because you want to know what their perception is but they're gonna have clicked which school so I don't think it matters as much okay if we already have that data I literally know which families are live in Royalton and come to Bethel and which families live in Bethel and go to Royalton. I have that yeah. list. So okay. In, in terms of like families that are choosing, like Stockbridge families are choosing to send their kids to the middle school, would that be important to we know? We have that information. We have too. that information. We know who they are. Do we know why they're choosing that or that might be a different? Because it's that's a question. I think there's the a kid, choice. There's a choice. The, Kids questions family. that include the middle school later okay. in the document, I think. Okay, I'm getting the surveys mixed up. Yeah. I do think school transportation. Um, this was uh, Andrew's baby. He was wondering if there was more. There were more things. Um, if your student does not ride the bus, what are the primary reasons why? Yeah, I had a yeah. Got it. I felt like um, the you know the. Um, the bus leaves too early. The bus picks up too early, and um, it's just more convenient to too long to drive them. Ride too long? Um, yeah, they do. Say, like they, they, the ride is too long is on there. Oh, right. They get home too late is on there. They leave too early in the morning is not on there. I, I don't know how far you want to go in breaking it down, but but um, and and the the reason that we drive them is just it's way more convenient to drive them. But that's because we live super close, so I don't. I don't know if that's helpful. Well, I think we should put that in there. Can, more convenient. Because otherwise, I would just be click clicking that's other wrong to drive. Yeah, I would be like, because I go to school <laughs> on the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's convenient. I'm going there. I'm there anyway. <laughs> so, anything else besides those two? And does that need to be broken down by school? And I'm just asking. Mm. No. 
drive, it's all high school, right? If we're talking about driving their own car. It's not all high school, right? I mean. The, the driving own car would, yeah. Is it, would it be helpful to know? So should we do this by school? Because the bus ride could definitely be totally different. I think it's well, like when my kids go to middle school, because, because it's a cross town bus and I I have a bus that'll pick up my kid in the morning, but not really bring them home in the afternoon. No, we have all year we've been waiting for a bus driver. Yeah, I mean it's it's not a school fault. I mean I know that, but I work here, you know and. A lot of other parents. My but. worry is we're going to ask questions, get answers, and still not be able to shift anything because there's no fast drivers. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Well, that's one of the questions that Andrew put out there, right? Like, yeah. how do you want to be involved? I yeah. Have a school bus Where is that one? Yeah. Have that yeah. I put it right in there. Drive a bus. Yeah. Used to be the farmers. That. Yeah. When I was working yeah. years ago, all the bus drivers were farmers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that. You said something about that. And yeah, they, yeah. And it was great. It was perfect yeah. for them. Yeah. yeah. Do the morning chores. I Brad morning chores, the grab the bus. The no, farm the buses. He parked them at his farm. Yeah, yeah, that was where they were. Yeah, it was yeah. great. That's, that's interesting. Okay. Family community involvement. Again, do these have to be by school? I just want to beat my head. What do you think that first sentence in the description? All public school districts struggle with family. I know you didn't like that. I put that yeah, in there. That's negative. mine, so I thought I'd ignore you. No. <laughs> no, I, I just, it starts with a kind of a negative. negative. Fine, I have it in stereo now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, All public schools, schools strive to include family. Can we just start with despite? Well, even if you get rid of all, yeah, all of is that. almost like you're already getting beat in the head as soon as you, you know, if you just say public <laughs> schools, is that a little softer? No, we'll just take the whole despite sentence the out. Side. Despite the larger side, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I think the first one could just be as is. I don't think it needs to be dialed down. I do think. Yeah. Really, I would love that in terms of like thinking about family engagement. It would be. Wait, I think what the are you next talking about? One be, okay. Because like, maybe cool. you are as involved as you are, but maybe there aren't as many opportunities. So, right? Awesome. I love that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like. Yeah, I love that. That's <clears> cool. <throat> so, I think if we just leave our families involved in school activities. And then this, and yeah. then 46 by school, the next one by yeah. school. Yeah. Community members are actually involved in school activities. That's by school. Do they know? I don't think they're going to know that. Do they know? Not necessarily. I don't think they know. I guess. We actually, I think we I had mean, something like that in the student well, survey. You have to put your parent hat on when you're looking at this, too. I, yeah. I think, I think you, I mean, you know, well, I'm not that involved, but so-and-so is or like I do know like some community members. oh I see yeah do we no, care about I don't, parents perception about whether or not community uh, members other are other right. other That's other community point. members right is it somebody else does it is yeah that, we did ask that the kids that connections and we did ask the kids Can we just Maybe, delete it? yeah I think yeah. so because we have the community connections and partnership section too, yeah. where we can get yeah, I more think information about maybe that. Maybe it's. I think the part about I'm involved. I feel like I have a way to involve. Like those parts mm -hmm. are more way more important. So, anything besides drive a bus, which I put in there, besides that list of stuff? I would just say um, club advisor, not club organizing. Also, club advising. Boosters and PTO. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's right. Not listed, but I feel like that's where a lot of people are really involved. Music. Parent boosters. teacher um, organization. Do you call them PTOs or? Yeah, and I think you could clump them all into one personally. Parent teacher organization. PTO slash boosters slash. Yeah. I mean. What was the, what was the second one? PTO boosters. Oh, boosters. Because there's a music boosters and athletic boosters. Really. Okay. Well, I mean, it's it's how I mean it's it's kind of waned over the years, but it's how we got the playground out there, yeah. you know, that's there now, you know, I mean, it it's used to be a, a bigger thing, and it's coming, we're working on getting it back to right. be it's strong. It's from nothing to, like, crazy amazing. You know, so. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that no, fast. it's good. 
And then what would make it easier for families and community members to be involved and please share. Uh, Communication. Oops. And then there's additional thoughts. Do you, do, yeah. do you want both of those? Yeah. Okay. Or is that really redundant? I like 49 myself because that just kind of helps in terms of outreach, mm -hmm. getting those ideas. Okay, so communication. This is. Do um, you think it's too redundant? I don't think it is, no. Okay. What? You don't, <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it? No, it's fine. I no. said it's not redundant. It's great. No. Uh, yeah. So is this one we're going to need to go by school? Yeah, 51. Mm-hmm. I, I would. You would what? I would want that information specifically by school. By school for it to be useful for me. Yeah. What if about... I to make change, I would want it dialed down. Okay. Do we want to have information about like the reporting on grades? No, this is the how, oh. not the what. You could add web to school as one of those lists which is the student management system, which is where you would, some parents don't know how to log in, some parents yeah, that would be are helpful. super proficient in logging in. Yeah. In yeah. elementary, you wouldn't log in. Okay, I was going to say, what is this? Yeah. Thing? Uh, school, I never... As your kid gets to middle school and high school, you can literally log in and see their grades. Okay. Like My wife is very like proficient at it. I've only What's opened it up once or twice. Web right to now school. it's called web to school. So it, it wouldn't apply for elementary because... We don't give elementary well, parents that, access. That should definitely be on there. But I do think for middle school and high school parents to give feedback on yep. that. Would be and what about Google Classroom? Oh, yeah. And, go, and uh, Google Classroom, and that would be at the middle school and the high school levels, right? We could either just put in parentheses, I think, just so like a parent goes, what? We could just write middle school and high school next to both those, because... I don't think Google Classroom was used during COVID for elementary, but I don't yeah. think it is now for. Yeah. Is it high school also? Middle no school, high school, yeah. Okay. One of my kids' teachers uses Class Dojo. Oh. Uh, but we I, should, I think of that as sort of a direct teacher kind of thing. And that's not messy. A thing. What are those called, though? We have okay. multiple teachers that use multiple they just got, apps to communicate. Yeah. It's. Too bad that they're not different. It's messy. We need our SU to pick one and like make us just like say we're all doing dojo or we're all yeah. using Remind. Oh, I went through that. Oh, oh, like when they went to Team Snap or whatever. Well, Team like, Snap is high school. We could have no. Team Snap oh. here too. Team, team Snap. Team Snap yeah. is athletics. Um, but that's messy because depend. I feel like I have all these invites depending on like oh it's oh, the kindergarten so in Bethel. They use the Remind app. Oh Tiffany Bates and these people use Class Dojo. Mm -hmm. Ray wanted us all to try this one. <laughs> right. So messy. Um, well, and I think that, that that's one of those situations where talking, having, maybe there's a way to ask that question in here because that's it's not about teacher preference. It's, for, it's like I used to say about report cards. If this report is for the parents. It's not for you. But I do yeah. think it's important. No, so if parents it's say, gotta be, and I do agree that they are, if parents say, like, the uh, teacher apps, and we can put in parentheses, such as Dojo, Remind, there's another name I can't remember. Because I do, I'm going to gather, I guess, that the parents that have kids that teachers use them find them very useful. I, yeah, I, yeah I, I can see that. I, I do think it's a good <laughs> question to say, like, would, they, would it be helpful to streamline all of these? Or, like, are you, or, are they, or... I don't know. I like, the, like you're saying, the preference of everybody using one. Is it worth asking the parents, like, is information coming in too many different ways? Maybe that's a dumb question. No, well, I think that's not a dumb question. We could, it doesn't have a, uh, that one of those more thoughts that we have at the end of every section. Oh, right. But I think if we had just asked them about teacher apps. I think we could just add on those teacher apps, but I do... 
I are think the, regardless of what parents think, we have to fix This it. is out of ignorance, I guess, but is the... That's good. I think it's a good idea. Is the app, would that be a more efficient and easier thing to look at or different information than like web to school? So it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's like little Facebook on your phone. Yeah. There's pictures or there's reminders or there's... I, the, oh, yeah. The thing I don't oh. love as a principal is people will tend to like communicate on that app and then it's like legally I think a problem oh, because yeah, we don't have a documentation of that conversation and it's not overseen by the school. So then if we get sued, someone's going to take their phone. <laughs> it's a problem. I don't know. It's, yeah. messy. <laughs> it's a huge mess. But anyways, it's the way for the future. Mm -hmm. it's where we're going. So you, other schools you see some So, so it, would be, it would be more of a direct communication method really, to be engaged with the parent. Yeah. This is what we did in class today, or whatever. Yeah. And I think it all stemmed from... Yeah. Well, um, it, it all started during COVID, really. Yeah. And, and, yeah. I, and I, you know, I, I find it useful. It's great. But, you know... Well, I just wonder if you have four kids in, if you know, three different what's schools. What's not great is yes. kids that's, four that's where yes. I think yeah. Yeah. Exactly. you might right. start to get right. a little wacky. Right. Right. And I do think there is this other conversation about motivation. Yeah. Right? Where it's well, and it take, well, that whole business about parents being engaged or communication is that, that a school, I mean, it's a two, it's a two way street. You can put a lot of stuff out, but, it, but a parent has to be interested in looking for it or reading it in order for them to say that. Feeling. Yeah, but that's why we go to well, all this yeah. length to try to figure out what's the easiest. So I think we've no. done enough. Is okay. it a is it a Pandora's box or a privacy thing that then you're encouraging staff to use their Personal. I mean devices? Yeah, to how, how to. you what you use to to gather the stuff to put on the app. Yeah. Well, I I don't know what your when experience the, is, but it's there are expectations or. Things well, that I, the school I know. Say to I guess do that's what I'm on saying. School yeah. devices, just like um, what Andrew was saying, is if you're on your phone, there's a, a lawsuit. You just lost your phone, mm. and um, because every one of those text messages and every email is um, is an official school document. Mm. Right. I agree. I'm and just, that's, I'm you just, know, I, you know, and we encourage email. people to only set up meetings and email and not have conversations and email. Not don't do that, but it, it just, you know, it, people are people. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, community connections and partnerships. Oh, we're so close. Um, so fifty-three, it would be mm -hmm. the same thing. Having the school identified and the yeah. scale. Andrew, that was such a good idea. I don't know how to make it, how to do that. Oh, even better. Andrew, Andrew, do it. Andrew, what do you want me to do? Sorry. Set up the Andrew, I probably could. I'll I call need, Ray. I just you know. need to get through to tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the fact you're here is wonderful. <laughs> That's awesome. My target date is Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Live till Saturday. Yeah. I, Need to get through Saturday. <laughs> All right, learning happens through community and school-based partnerships. That's by school. Developing school advisory council is important for maintaining community voice. Um, Just parentheses, middle school, high school. No, with the with the. Um, I don't think the articles of agreement specified just the two schools. Emily was saying people might not know what it, that meant, and I, I had put in the, uh, the section. Description. Um, well, you all said a while ago there was a reason why it you know, didn't happen, so is it a necessary question, even though the, the articles asked? I think it's necessary to ask parents if they want to be on an advisory committee. Yeah. I mean, I had put in there, because I got this information from Jamie, because I didn't know. It was also important that despite the larger district size, the community maintained a strong voice in the running of the school, and as such, the report talked about forming advisory committees for each school. Somebody right. has, so, uh, Andrew, he's been in my stuff. I did not write that. These were never fully implemented. No, we're not, no, strong voices in running the school. That is not what it said, and I will be oh. changing that. Okay. <laughs> if it's all right with you. 
Um, there's one previous list that says this was never fully implemented, just so you know. Yeah, that, and I think that that's fine. Yeah. And then in the end, you know, we, so we ask that, and then we say it's developing school advisory. Yeah, see, no, he got in there. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind people changing. I just I just want to know that they went. Yes, yeah, like I don't. Yeah, excuse me. There's another question that's like missing. It's like, well, who took that out? I mean, I don't really care, but it's like. So in the next section, there's a beginning parenthesis and no end parenthesis. Were you were you no, there was an suggesting that there should be a question on there saying, um, I would I would. I, as a parent, would volunteer to be on an advisory council. Is that useful to be in having there? I thought that's what Andrew just said. Maybe it wasn't what you said. I think I would want to know if parents. The, I, yeah, I didn't say that, but this is hard because we don't collect the emails. Uh, well, what what, <laughs> he, what Andrew had said on the on the um, the trans or the be involved says, section. Yeah. What activities oh. under other it said if you're interested contact information you know under other or something or include your contact information I, I, honestly yeah on the any additional thoughts you could add yeah add, if you're interested I think the same thing here would we want to put the advice you should put on that list school board member you did oh I love it I think he did oh did my he? gosh I think he did head. I think he did maybe he did <laughs> Was it on there? No. No, school, oh, board, school district board, district governance. District governance. Yeah. So can we add advisory council as a checkbox oh, there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then they'll go, I Just don't know what that is. That that's one. Cool. <laughs> they'll find uh, about, out about it. about advisory group or something if council See, he messed me up. I got advisory. the right name for it, and then I'll figure it out. The strong voice of the community. All right. Just write that. <clears throat> this is the high school. I guess we didn't ask about the middle school. Why? If they chose to come. There's literally most of the middle school one child. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle oh, school God. who's chosen to come here. Yeah. Because there's just not most most places have a middle school. It's not yeah. because no one's choosing the middle school, but. There's one child that lives in Pittsfield. But next year, are we getting lots of folks from Stockbridge or Rochester? We're getting more, yeah. yeah. That'd be fun. All right. And the student responses, it's been interesting, because they're like, I didn't have any choice. I didn't have any choice. My yeah. mom works there. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's that kind of stuff. It's just hysterical. Which choice. is really, even in Winooski Valley, that's like 90% of the reasons kids to go to other schools have directly related to where their parents work. Oh, right. Or the football team. Or the athletics. But it's oh. rarely to do with academics. Because transportation is not so, provided, but right. there's lots of, right. you know, oh, well, I drive by that school right. um, every day on my way to the interstate or <laughs> every day on my way to work and that. You know, and, and I get that. I mean, that makes it mucho easier for yeah. parents. But. But it's a problem for the sending schools. All right. I'm curious about how we can, in the larger SU, identify schools as potential sending schools that don't have to abide by special education laws. So maybe I have that wrong. But do Thetford, does Thetford and Sharon, do they have to honor? Sharon Academy? Yeah. They are not approved. To for all special education, but some. So as a taxpayer, if I lived in this community, I might have an issue with, you know, with that, right? If I knew about it. Well, you, you wouldn't, I bet you wouldn't know. Isn't that important? But aren't you, are only, you? Only if you had a 
Well, no, that, right. that's so not we, true. If all those kids from Newton can choose to, choose to go to schools, and I see what you're, I was looking at it from the other way. Too. I was looking at it from the parent. If you were a parent with a, 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 a special needs or a child that had needed yes, special ed services, well, my issue is, but yeah, you know, what you're saying is, as a community yes, member, that thinks my tax money is right. going to support so schools. Are we done? I think we are. Right. But seriously, do you think you can figure out how to do? I don't live in this community, but I would go. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I would be out there waiting time. the flag um, yeah. saying, do y'all realize? Would it be a yeah. deadline that this has to happen like sooner well, than later? Anyway. No, no, this one doesn't I, No, I understand now. I, 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 I get it. I yeah. can't be at the next well, meeting. Well, but we can't can make. meeting virtually. What is the next meeting? Two weeks from today. Those two schools. The last weekend. No, but we're paying for all those kids from fifth or something, sixth, something like that. Right? That I don't know. The 27th? Because none of those, I don't know if maybe there's one or two kids from Newton that go to South Thursday, Oregon. June 27th. Yeah. So I should be able to do the 20th and otherwise the, the, the taxpayers are paying for Thetford and for Sharon yeah. to run programs that on the I'm Well, I don't want you to have to do them all just if we can same. figure out yeah, how to do it. Yeah. 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 I mean, I can ask yeah. Ray yes. tomorrow. Yes. What is today? Yes. Equal. Thursday. I can ask yeah. him tomorrow. Educational. Okay. Equitable. If he knows. Right. Yeah. Or who's... Yeah. 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 Yeah.